What is up YouTube, Conjix here. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of saltwater fishing in Ganji Plaza State Park. I might not be posting this video, today is June 30th. And the reason for that is I got no GoPro, no camera gear on me whatsoever. But if I happen to post this in the future, maybe it's because I'm taking a break. So, let's get to it. Mama too hot like a furnace. You know, living in New York City, it doesn't really provide you opportunities to go to your backyard and fish. It's pretty long distances from my own house to just cast a line, so... Yeah. So as I was saying, this walk, it's a pretty long walk. I'm talking it's more like two miles. But it's certainly worth it, because the fish you catch there it's just satisfying you know to be able to hook into a fish in such an urban city it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty satisfying it kind of takes you to nature you know i don't talk too much about it but the types of species that are in the east river it could actually vary because our river is kind of like an ocean which means all the fish come in with the tide the types of species we have are mostly striper bluefish corgi around july to august summer flounder, winter flounder, croaker, kingfish, totog, it's, it's endless, it's literally endless. Sealy no and Barton's injury attorneys call 800-888-8888. Don't wait guys. Call 8. You guys ever just walk and you feel like something's at the bottom of your foot? So you go and you check the bottom of your foot and you see a freaking piece of glass? Totally relatable, right? You got games on your phone, bro? Well guys, we just made it to the piers. And I'm noticing there's a bit of a tide scheme going on. The water's very high right now. And it should be lowering as the sun sets. So I'm gonna try to pull out my sabiki. See what happens. Well guys, I tried out the Sabiki rig, there's not much luck there, so I'm going to switch to a cup bait rig. Alright guys, so since the high-low rig did not end up working out, I'm going to be fishing a high-low rig with a 3-ounce sinker, and I got trusty old shrimp for bait. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so I just got this tiny little black sea bass right here on the clam. I switched to clam. And let me see what I do with it. Oh, okay. Let me see. Alright, let's see. Right, let's let this little fella go. There he goes, off into the distance. Alright, second cast, let's see how it goes on the clam. Well, guys, my rig just cut off when I went to cast. I still have a hook left on there and I only have one four ounce sinker left, but I do happen to have two one ounces. So let's cast it out there, see what we can catch. Guys, so I just tied up with the one ounce sinker and I just caught another one of these. These guys are vicious. These black sea bass got some fight to them. I might be able to keep this one, let's see. Hopefully I should be able to keep it. You know guys, I really don't know why they kill these fish, like, they're native to this river, you shouldn't be killing fish like this, no matter how ugly they look. Yo, 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 is you good? So this is an oyster toad fish, just took the clam, oh god, swallowed the hook too. I see the hook. Well, I caught one fish. So, guys, that wraps up this video. I had an amazing time fishing. Although I did not catch any striped bass, it was an ex amazing success. I met someone there, and this guy, he is so generous. We talked for about an hour while I was fishing, and he was the person next to me while I caught the oyster toadfish. He gave me $20. $20 in respect $20 for just being there and fishing. He's like I love fishing. I do it with my son all the time guys You don't know how much 
New York City fishermen are appreciated by people. You can't walk on the streets with a fishing rod without having someone stop you and ask, hey, did you catch anything? And the second I catch something on the pier, the people applaud. They're that proud of us. It's just something that makes me proud to be living in the city, you know? Because they know that not a lot of people do this and that it's a hard hobby. Either way, I had an amazing time today. I caught two totog. I have one in my bag. And I'll be doing a catch and cook video on that soon. And I also caught an oyster toadfish, which I released because that thing looks nasty. But other than that, I had an amazing time. And it's a great way to wrap it up. And it's just the start of summer. So let's get to it. Let's keep on fishing. Tight lines. I'll see you in the next shot.